Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, new earth angels of eternal bliss consciousness. Happy full moon lunar eclipse in Libra and Holi, a vibrant Hindu festival celebrating the arrival of spring and the triumph of good over evil. To bring in this season's eclipse passageway, our local Solaris continues to send Gaia and all her children of the sun, gamma plasma waves of adamantine light by releasing nine C-class solar flares and two more M-class flares, the most powerful maxing at M4.47 at 644 UTC. 44, 44 coming in. We also had two pillars of white light appearing on the Schumann charts today as Mother Earth's heartbeat reached higher amplitudes of 17 hertz, 47 hertz, and a big blast of white light at 72 hertz. Seventh dimensional energetics flowing in. As we journey through this eclipse corridor, the veils between worlds are thinning, and all is being revealed to expose the shadows and bring all to the light for healing and our transfiguration into our higher spiritual state of being. All star seed earth angelics of the 144 are integrating these higher codes and frequencies of the solar diamond Christos Sophia consciousness of divine union. As we navigate through this uncharted territory, we journey through the unknown energies and into the unknowable, eternal source creator we call the great mystery. In this infinite pure awareness, we step into our freedom and assist our ground crew team in our divine missions of full planetary liberation. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer for the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Strong magnetic energy this morning, like we are traversing an 11D wormhole. Portal opening, closing, new realms. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Destiny energies magnified. True North corrections dropped in last night, which also shifts stations of identity from monad to oversoul extensions. Council reviews, contract revisions, new Stargate opening, choice point course corrections implemented after reviews completing at the moment. Roll rearrangements in the ethers all day to play out in the physical. Keys and code transmission. Ceremony initiations passed. Some are in a holding pattern. Corridor as much shifts behind the scenes in preparation. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. 333 three, three, coming in. It's an understatement to say that the energy is intense. The super full moon is like 10 times a normal one. If you feel weird or all over the place, you are right on track. Pay attention to all that wants to come or leave in between now and April 8th. A climax is about to be reached. A key manifestation, a key resolution, or a key birth. 144 flowing in. A magical entrance of something or somebody. Destiny is at play. Absolutely nothing is random at this time. Get ready for important changes and upgrades. The path continues. You will not be the same when the eclipse window is over. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 32524. This is an important and valuable day in ways you won't fully realize until later in the year. 
It's the beginning of infusing your public persona with the force of nature you actually, honestly, and unapologetically are on the inside. You made a huge internal transformation last year and changed in fundamental ways. But you, most likely, have not yet found balance between how much you've changed and how much of that you're ready to reveal to others. You cannot, however, come to full power with your light tucked safely away. You must find or make space to comfortably embrace and express your true nature. Let today's full moon clear away the fog and the fear. You have nothing to hide, especially, crucially, from yourself. This is a powerful ending in many ways and an equally powerful new start. And today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Shane Shema, Shani Froyo, Penumbral Lunar Eclipse 325, 2024, 12, 12 a.m. Sedona time. Conjoined with the triple star system, Zania, in the constellation Virgo. First Deccan Virgo, number nine, the Hermit, Eight of Pentacles. Neurogenesis, a thousand and one. We have sought and found the lost ark, chromosome number nine, the revelation and secret to the formation of neurons in the mind, stars in the cosmos, dimensions in the multiverse, pathways of interdimensional travel, and the secret to the onset of the virgin birth. We call this neurogenesis, the genesis within all layers of creation. If we want to understand the consciousness, the spirit of divinity, then we must pursue the Basha, written in the stars. They are much more than twinkling lights in the Prussian blue night. Aren't they the neurons in our minds, the photosynthesis in our hearts, and the regeneration in our bodies? Let us embark on a journey to fathom the intricate dance of form within the depths of our unseen selves. In the cosmic tapestry, Virgo, embodying the essence of inception, precedes the fabric of space and time. Like planting a seed in the fertile soil of our innermost being, it signifies a sanctuary of unblemished purity and untainted innocence. In this sacred solitude, myriad possibilities unfold, each a unique expression of existence. Our quest for unity transcends the mundane pursuit of uniformity. Instead, it embraces the kaleidoscope of diversity. Within, we tread upon the ethereal sands of the Milky Way, a celestial pathway that mirrors the vast expanse of our internal cosmos. Yet outwardly, we often segregate these realms, forgetting that they are but different facets of our essence. Just as the stars of heaven elude enumeration, so too do the grains of sand in the boundless sea defy measurement. Each holds its irreplaceable environment in the symphony of existence, reminding us of the incomprehensible beauty found in everything. The world that is talking is you. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy. Athena, homeostasis. Though the satanic is trying really hard to bring even more destruction and distraction into this world, the next 40 days, via the eclipses and the Jupiter and Uranus meeting, will eventually bring the thunder for them. Their downfall has started. They are so desperate that they make moves which are clearly revealing their actions and identity. Wicked minds that live in agony and chaos do not have the code to cope with the new energy. It is all about the code. This is why many people are leaving, because they cannot see the possibility of the new code and open themselves to it. They are missing the code of love and unity, and this is why they cannot help their family line too. They still vibrate in fear and separation. Most are suffering from low or high self-esteem which are the two sides of the same coin. So watch what happens both on a personal and collective level to those who have been satanic, manipulative, and serving their dark personal agendas via control and hidden and wicked strategies. They will lose everything. Lately I've been hearing these questions. 
How will the people of the countries that their government has been killing, abusing, stealing, and manipulating the people, fate and fortune of other countries, will be able to heal this karma and bring it back in balance? Are they also responsible? How will those assisting and participating in such atrocities will be able to redeem themselves and their families? And also, how will those that their families and ancestors have hurt, killed, used, or cursed other families will be able to bring recovery in their genealogical lines? Will they be able to take responsibility and drop these old patterns and strategies of control and separation in their own lives? Via our 144,000 diamonds work with the Tree of Life, and the galactic families via the crystalline portal of the Acropolis. We know that all families have agreed to cooperation and redemption. Self-responsibility is the key for this. Those that do not align to this humbling message and still continue to think of themselves as higher than others will just make their life worse because there is no way out of this but love and correction via actions and this includes all members of all families, on all sides. I believe that the system has already provided humanity with these answers and solutions. The seeds are here. The children are here. It is the system itself that offers these keys and ways back to homeostasis. Earth will speak and bring decompression along with key players, which at the right time will bring these already provided solutions into fruition. Chiron brings the keys. The Silver Mother has turned the hourglass. In the personal work, remember that we are portals of expression and also for healing and salvation for our ancestral line and many souls from within these lines are now reaching out for liberation and passage to the light more than ever before. This has been intensified since we escaped the 3D graves back in November 2023. So please keep in mind also that many feelings and thoughts might not even be truly yours, but theirs, and this might not be easy to detect until they are actually released. Somatic psychotherapy work is the key for this because this is connected to the memory of the physical cell. The ancestors want to be heard and seen. Some of them have been trapped in very specific points and situations in time, in oblivion or suffering. So we are called to do our inner work. We have escaped the fallen technology of the 3D graves, and all ancestors can now find remedy too. The crown is undergoing a great purification and transformation because of all the above. So it is. Homeostasis is our given right. Good things are coming for those who are aligning to the truth and unity. Erini, El Moriana Anadi Miana. Ol a Christos, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, today we are embracing the energies for the penumbral full moon lunar eclipse at 5 degrees Libra, a cosmic passage that brings balance, harmony, and heart healing. This is a passage that will serve us to stabilize our light bodies continue seeding more harmony on the earth's fabrics and grids and on a more personal level to continue mastering our divine reunions creating balanced relationships we have transitioned into the aries libra axis and this eclipse is the third one being the first one was a total solar eclipse in aries the aries libra axis is about freedom leadership integrity balance and relationships it is I versus we. The lunar eclipse in Libra will transit the south node of the moon, our past, and what we need to release, both karmically and emotionally. Who we used to be, for we are constantly shifting on this evolutionary journey, becoming more empowered, sovereign, and conscious. We are invited to balance our unconscious past acts and relationships, taking full responsibility for our past deeds and choosing not to repeat what we once did from a different level of consciousness. For this is how we heal past actions, by not repeating them. 
as when we do so integrate the lessons and forgive ourselves and others we neutralize karma no action needs perpetual punishment for all within creation is love only a, the illusion of it takes us back to our old concept of karma this eclipse is to continue releasing attachments with our past selves and relationships understanding that we cannot become sovereign beings if we still carry old wounds and deeds that have not been neutralized my guides invite us to heal and clear the heart chakra of any non-benevolent astral connections past cords wounds and anything that is impeding divine love into our hearts allowing the current harmonic energies to help us restore our love center the libra eclipse will help us set a balance between ourselves and others for the aries libra axis is all about the self versus others at the time of the eclipse we have already the sun in aries which is about the self while libra reminds us that we too need to balance our needs with other needs as aries emphasizes we are here on a journey to be more empowered and become sovereign beings but being sovereign beings is not equal to individuality but to oneness remembering that we are here on a path of service to all not just to the self this eclipse reminds us of moving our focus from the self to the we this is a time to balance heart mind and start mastering the ego self moving from what only benefits us to what brings more harmony and healing to all to be able to disengage from the egoic self first we need to work on loving ourselves completely as divine beings for only when we achieve this step will we understand and love others as a part of who we are working on self-esteem self-acceptance and self-responsibility is key to starting the process of loving and honoring ourselves for we cannot create balanced relationships if we have not healed our hearts and see ourselves as worthy beings remaining in the present moment is pivotal to healing ourselves every time we think of the past and try to go there mentally and remotely for we reside in a simultaneous reality we self-programmed ourselves to repeat the same old actions attracting the same old people or similar ones and past situations in our present reality and hence duplicating a false reality that can no longer coexist with how we have become and desire to go next yours is the will for yours is the power to restore yourself the past timelines you once created from another level of consciousness with the wisdom and healing light you possess within for there is no one who can create for you but yourself and your divine presence through you yours is the power to choose where to place your consciousness in the present where you and all you desire reside or in the past where nothing exists anymore. I wish you all a loving passage. Remember to take care of your precious selves, beloved ones, with an infinite love. From NataliaAlba.com And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. The Eclipse Passageway, March 25th through April 8th, 2024. Day 1. Lifting the Veils. Dear Friends, the recent lunar eclipse has officially opened the eclipse corridor energetic vortex. The special energetic period will last until April 8th through the 10th. We are now fully immersed in these transformative waves. These energies between eclipses can be quite transformative and enlightening. So you might find yourself in a completely different place in your life's journey by next month at the end of the eclipse corridor. These energy waves are calling you to energetically scan your life for things that may no longer be a vibrational match for who you are and how you have grown. The insights you will be receiving may be asking you to dismantle old belief systems and ways of being that once served you, and others, but no longer do. Sometimes this means letting go of stagnant situations and relationships or jobs or simply making a change in dietary habits. You're being called to trust yourself, 
Notice what is out of alignment and then take the baby steps required to bring your life back into harmony. This is no easy feat, but it is so worthwhile, both individually and for the planet. These energetic life journey adjustments can also manifest physically and emotionally. Our nervous system is being recalibrated at so many different levels. So please take it easy and rest as needed. Take time to be with yourself and to remember that you are changing at the deepest layers of your energetic core. We are also moving into Easter weekend, which is also an emotionally charged period for millions of people around the world. At the same time, we are navigating the pre-shadow period of Mercury retrograde, which means the eclipse corridor period will be a wonderful time to slow down, meditate, and prepare yourself for the changes ahead in the month of April. Much love, we are one, from DiegoBerman.com And today from Ascension Lightworkers to the Ascension Lightworker Collective. The full worm moon event on Monday, March 25th will coincide with the lunar eclipse. The celestial event will be visible from various regions, including North and South America, Europe, East Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. This is a time to rest, release, recalibrate, restore, reset, and restart. Our entire reality is currently undergoing an extreme reform and restructure. On a personal level, we are experiencing a sharp reawakening that is rapidly and irrevocably altering all ascending on a cellular and molecular level. When we surrender to these incoming energies, we will feel the full effects of the full moon. The planets and the entire universe is protecting and supporting us. This full moon is restoring our faith and energy. It will expose what has well been hidden. Ascending individuals are about to realize just how interconnected and interwoven we all really are. Peace is now replacing past pain and anxiety, remaining strong and believing that anything and everything is now possible. Many ascending souls have completed past karmic cycles, having healed most of their inner woundings and trauma from not only this life, but are also healing the ancestral bloodlines. This will take the time it needs. Many ascending may have to stand by and watch their loved ones continue with repeated patterns and loop cycles. This can feel difficult as levels of internal sensitivity continue to rise. Leaving behind others is never easy. Sending them love and understanding, accepting that not all individuals on this planet will make the ascension jump into truth and reality. Most are still conditioned in false beliefs and programming. An intense transformation is currently unfolding, characterized by a sense of suspense energy in the air. It is helpful to acknowledge that not everyone will fulfill the role you have envisioned for them. Some individuals may have served as brief moments, helpers or carriers of a message. This year, 2024, will highlight those that are remaining stagnant in lower conscious structures. It is not the ascending soul's work to persuade others to ascend, even though you have the best intentions for them. Ultimately accepting their free will and free choice is all you can really do. The focus must now be fully on self. After healing the ancestral paradigms, the next stage of the ascension journey is self-love. This will be the hardest work in self to accomplish. It holds the key, however, to absolutely everything. This work is required to take the leap into the higher dimensions. The fifth dimension is self-actualization. By embracing the potent planetary energies, starseed ascending souls are undergoing a profound cosmic and universal upgrade that enhances their protection and supports their ascension process on Earth. This influx of energy is reinforcing faith in the new Earth paradigm and deepening awareness of interconnectedness and enlightenment. Inner peace is strengthening, restoring equilibrium and faith on the ascension path, trusting in the possibilities of life and raising vibrations align star seeds with the new earth energy and ascension levels. 
by connecting with their heart space and higher self they experience unity wholeness and heightened consciousness preparing for life on this planet in the fifth dimension as star seeds ascend their actions influence the planet and collective consciousness contributing to a collective rebirth process conscious elevation of higher vibrational frequencies unlock the natural gifts and enhances intuitive abilities this sharpens the sensory perceptions star seeds develop a strong claircognizance enabling instant knowing and discernment of true energetic signatures making deception from others almost impossible in the new earth energy as we move deeper into 2024 the ascension process is accelerating leading to prominent shifts in timelines connections and situations this is accompanied by intense energetic healing through shadow work particularly during the full moon eclipse corridor the celestial alignments and energetic shifts during this time will bring unconscious aspects to the surface more prominently eclipses serve as powerful catalysts amplifying the energy and making it harder to ignore or avoid for those consciously working with these energies this shift is highly transformative but may feel uncomfortable for those unaware of these particular dynamics this intensified planetary phase will bring forth deep-seated emotions patterns and beliefs that have been overlooked or avoided it can be a time of heightened sensitivity and vulnerability allowing many ascending to gain clarity on the shadow aspects to integrate them for deeper healing self-reflection and self-discovery every experience in life is a divine gift and opportunity for higher learning preparing now to embrace unforeseen changes that will ultimately serve the highest good and present the highest outcomes ascending individuals will soon find themselves on the brink of realizing their dreams and aspirations they have been longing for in loving and devoted ascension service from ascension light workers and today from divine sister of the light carolyn one forty four god code the collective is exulting into one body of christ through the unity of our hearts this is bringing motion to our mission of awakening the higher heart chakra through this eclipse portal gateway you and your service to humanity are protected this hasn't always felt this way as you may have faced a lot of opposition trying to stop you however this is breaking now so you can be at peace and rest density that has been stuck in the body is fully releasing and transmuting today's libra full moon eclipse is helping you forgive and let go so you can completely heal all parts of you over the lunar eclipse cycle focus on recovering your power health and energy in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godco.com and today from divine sister of the light ra james this lunar eclipse will amplify everything in your life what you're going through focusing on feelings and energy this is the first eclipse of 2024 and is bringing huge energies this lunar eclipse aligns with pluto this eclipse will help realign you with your soul and with your destiny it happens in libra the theme coming up is relationships it's meant to show you the imbalances in your relationships and to bring them back into balance this eclipse is bringing any karma to the surface eclipses are all about releasing energy from our lives the veil between earth and the heavens is thinner during an eclipse that means you can tune into so much more this lunar eclipse will fall on the south node of destiny giving us a chance to let go lunar eclipses activate the lunar nodes of the moon known as points of karmic fate and destiny the south node shows what needs to be healed expect emotional baggage karmic patterns and any attachments to come to the surface it's a huge cleaning fate and destiny are huge themes right now both are being activated in a big way they are separate but intertwined forces fate is the karma that you brought with you destiny is what you make of it 
The south node represents the energetic baggage of your past, expected to be coming up during this time. The best way to clear a karmic cycle is to not engage and to make better choices. Know every opportunity isn't for you. The north node signifies your future and your ultimate destiny. Expect to make huge shifts towards where you're meant to be right now. From SparksOfDivineLightHealing.com And today from Sovereign Harmony Astrology Lunar Eclipse 5 degrees Libra Monday, March 25th, 12 a.m. PDT The week starts with the opening of the eclipse season as a lunar eclipse joins the moon's south node in Libra while forming a trine to Pluto and Aquarius and as Venus, ruler of Libra, and Pisces, forms a sextile to Jupiter and Taurus, while sitting in between Saturn and Neptune and Pisces. If we intend to, the next few months can be a time of graciously yet powerfully releasing our attachments to outdated dependencies in our lives, as we make room for a higher sense of sovereign trust in our own perceptions of reality and in our own direction opportunities to expand upon a tangible foundation going forward are available but only if we make the necessary space for them to exist in to support our true aims despite any doubts that may creep up into our awareness in the process collectively the next couple of years will see the gap between manipulated reality and actual reality collapsing in a way that will require each individual to take on the responsibility for defining their own sovereign perceptions and what comes up now for processing review and release is just the beginning of this transition and provides us with the opportunity to be prepared and ready to stand in our highest perception of the truth in the midst of it being bombarded by desperate manipulations and today from divine sister of the light ruby falconer march twenty fifth twenty twenty four full moon lunar eclipse at libra five degrees seven minutes three o'clock a m e d t we come to the end of a phase that began with the october fourteenth annular solar eclipse that eclipse moved through the united states from oregon to texas then into mexico central and south america it initiated a period of experience that ends with this full moon lunar eclipse this will be a penumbral lunar eclipse wherein the moon moves through the faint outer part of the Earth's shadow, to the extent that it can be seen. This lunar eclipse will be visible throughout North America and most of South America. Symbolically, we are entering a portal between two phases of experience. This portal can be thought of as a tunnel. On April 8th, we will exit this tunnel into a dramatic total solar eclipse. It is worth thinking about all that has happened since October 14th. This lunar eclipse marks the beginning of a new transition. Imagine that over the next two weeks, you are moving through a tunnel. It's dark in the tunnel. You must move slowly, putting one foot in front of the other. This is a birth process, and the tunnel is the birth canal. Enter the portal consciously. What do you want to release, to leave behind? from shamanicstarology.com and today from divine sister of the light molly mccord how are you feeling with the libra eclipse energies today because it's working with the south node in libra it's the perfect time for realizations around libra themes in your life that you are closing out ending and moving away from because they are no longer connected to your authentic sense of self now and what you need sun and aries this can be a cycle that rebalances you and reminds you of what you truly need to be more of your creative passion itself going forward the energies can also be showing you what you've been growing and learning through since the north node was in libra back in 2014 to late 2015 consider all of the ways you've been learning about partnerships relationships communication and reciprocal connections that you are now graduating from and seeing what you no longer need going forward the divine may be speaking to you through many ways to help bring through the messages that your soul is sending you the eclipse was exact earlier today but the energy will continue to play out for at least six months 
especially when the sun gets to five degrees of Libra in late September. Have you had any brilliant breakthroughs or significant realizations? The Libra lunar eclipse at 5 degrees is full of realizations as the emotional objectivity of the Libra moon trines Pluto and Aquarius, which uncovers more that is ready to be balanced, communicated, and changed through relationships and partnerships. The ruling planet Venus is exalted in Pisces and moving away from a conjunction with Saturn, yet sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. Something new and different is on the horizon that does not repeat karmic patterns. Surrendering your needs for others or giving up yourself for the sake of a connection or whatever you are consciously closing out by upgrading your self-worth. Strong Pisces energies might require more time to reflect and process while a buzzing creativity is in the air that feels promising. This eclipse is extra powerful for any planets or points between 0 to 9 degrees of Gemini or Sagittarius, especially now that Saturn in Pisces is no longer squaring those degrees, which would have been disappointment and feeling lost in 2023. A revival is underway in this new cycle. From Molly McCord online. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Elise, March 25th through April 1st, 2024, the Mother's Way. Wow, what a powerful Libra lunar eclipse moving us headlong into eclipse season. Everyone is on the edge of their seats, wondering about the energy of the total solar eclipse on April 8th. Indeed, this eclipse has the signature of some big change. Control forces continue to feed us trauma and drama narratives, but they are missing the point. It's a new world now, and everything must shift in order to come into alignment. This eclipse is about the light coming back into our lives. It's a triumphant energy with Venus crossing over Saturn the next few days. Our feminine is finally ready to stand up and take back her power. Saturn is getting a makeover, and he best get in line with the grand authority of the mother landing home and claiming back her world. He works for her now. It's time for the structures of this world to get behind life, growth, healing, love, and compassion. It's not rocket science. We must claim back our humanity from the machine. We are feeling the sweet and magical possibilities of an abundant new world, with Venus in sextile to Jupiter. Venus is triggering the Saturn sextile Jupiter, which is still in effect. Saturn and Jupiter stay within three degrees of each other in sextile through the end of the month. We are in a potent shifting time where the old stories are blooming, but we can feel the excitement of the new that lies ahead. The pressure is on to surrender and release into a new way, the way. Venus will go on to make a sextile to Uranus later in the week. This is highlighting the epic conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus, which is happening April 18th through the 21st. Venus is ringing the bells of freedom and inviting us back to love. We are claiming back the technology and power which is rightfully ours. We, the true human souls, have rightful dominion over our resources as we stand with the Mother. All must come into alignment with her values and ideals. It's a huge time of massive adjustment, a 180 degree turn. Mercury in Aries is now in retrograde shadow and will turn retrograde on April 2nd, just before the Aries total solar eclipse. Mercury is taking a retrograde in the second half of Aries, making this a very important time of allowing our life, constructs, and reality to shift and change. The message is that where we are going from here is so, so different from what we are leaving behind. We are being asked to drop all the stories and be willing to start completely new. Start right now, bringing every breath, every moment into deep alignment with your true soul essence. Amazingly abundant opportunities can begin to arise from committing to deep presence, the mother's way. There is a lot of grief coming up with Mars, now in Pisces with Venus. It's hard to get over the regret of how far away the life we have been living is from our essential truth. 
like the astrology is indicating, we must put down everything, strip naked, and be willing to move forward in a whole new way. The grief is about letting go of the past and bringing us to a bigger picture. It's a sadness about how far we allowed earth evolution to move away from the original dream. But it's okay. We are back on track now. Just breathe in this truth every day and bring your path up to meet you in your presence. From AdrianElise.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Monday, March 25th, we are still in the window of the potent full moon lunar eclipse energies in Libra. Today and into Tuesday, the moon in Libra will create inconjunct aspects to Saturn, planet of karmic lessons, Jupiter, ruler of higher understanding, and Venus, planet that rules partnerships and ruler of this eclipse, and will oppose Chiron, ruler of past life wounds, and in conjunct means that adjustments need to be made. So we are shifting and changing, purging and releasing, as necessary, to understand the soul lessons we incarnated with regarding relationships to see things from a higher perspective as to why and express ourselves more lovingly in our connections with others. All of this is done while also balancing the needs of the self with the other. We need to make sure that our needs, wants, and desires are heard, while also listening to and communicating compassionately with our lovers, partners, family, and friends. Great healing can take place if both parties are willing to put in the effort. However, if imbalance and inequality remains, we may need to release and let go of what is no longer working in our lives when it comes to these connections. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lunar Eclipse in Libra, the moon is trine Pluto and opposite the Aries Sun. Potent changes are occurring at a deep level, and whether alone or partnered, ensure you are on an equal footing before making a firm decision. Emotions are magnified, feelings intensified. Now is the time to reset the balance of power in our relationships. Codependency or settling for less than what we want or deserve doesn't serve us. It's complicated, is over. If there has been too much compromise, then this eclipse will prompt us to release what no longer works. Reassess levels of give and take. Choose your side. Break toxic karmic connections. Have courage. You have everything you need to alchemize this energy into a profound transformation. Check in with your values. Honor your truth. Calm your fears. Breathe into your heart. Find your center. We are each other's mirrors. Make peace with your own reflection to make peace with the world. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 156, Yellow Cosmic Warrior. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its keywords are Transcend, Endure, and Presence. This is the last day of the Yellow Seed Wave Spell, and the last day of the Blue Western Castle of Burning. A castle is a four-wave spell period, and the Zolkeen divides into five castles. The blue western castle of burning is right in the middle of the Zolkeen, and contains the red serpent, white mirror, blue monkey, and yellow seed wave spells. Two of these have a ten-day, portal-day roller coaster ride, so we not only transcend today everything we have learned in the last wave spell, but in a sense, we transcend the whole 52-day castle. This was quite something we all endured. Today is Yellow Warrior, which represents questioning, intelligence, and fearlessness. The last day of a wave spell is the destiny the first day set out to reach. We began with Yellow Seed, which had an agenda of sowing awareness. It is the harvest wave spell, where we reap what we have sown. On this last day, the yellow warrior, who is fearless, invites us to be warriors too. Intelligence is a key word, because warriors are concerned with psychological warfare, and it is the battle of consciousness he or she is fighting. I implore you to join the army of intelligence, and may all the wisdom you have accumulated be your weapons. 
And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Cosmic Warrior, 13 Keeb, Keen 156, 25th of March, 2024, Lunar Eclipse in Libra, Transcending Battles, 25 3, 2024, equal 7 3 8, equal 7 11, equal 7 2, equal 9. 144 continuing to pulse in day codes 25 spiritual wisdom learning from the past seven magic mystic spiritual solitude initiation nine completion endings destiny humanity grace month year codes three holy trinity joy communication creativity eight infinite abundance source flow eleven illumination portal gate polarity one new beginnings original leader independent unique two twins partners cooperation alliances duality twenty the awakening clear vision twenty four charisma happiness healing joy keen one five six equal twelve equal three holy trinity joy creativity communication a transformational divine day manifesting transcendence penumbral Full Moon Lunar Eclipse in Libra, 24th through 25th of March, 2024. The Dream Spell Codes governing this eclipse are Keen 155 and 156, the Crystal Eagle and the Cosmic Warrior. Huge Awakening, Illuminating, and Envisioning Codes. A beautiful gift with the benefic Venusian, Libran, and Jupiter energies blessing us all with love, harmony, and abundance. How delightful! Congratulations, Star Bliss Supernova Suns. Today marks the final exit of our momentous gap journey through the core of the Zolkeen. We are finally free from the added gap intensities, so we should start to feel lighter and less encumbered, having climbed to the top of Jacob's Ladder. Except for the looming solar eclipse on April 8th, and the comet and those intense CMEs erupting from the sun and bombarding our planet. Oh man, surfing those solar waves. We have arrived on day 16 at the final day in the yellow seed wave spell of awakening, flowering, new beginnings, ripening, opening to more light, and blossoming into our highest potential. Today is the day the little yellow seed fearlessly blooms, opening its multi-layered petals and blossoming into its highest potential revealing all its light through sheer luminescent presence as the enlightened cosmic rainbow warrior. All during a potent lunar eclipse in Libra, the sign of beauty, our blossoming will be very grand. Tone of creation cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order the goddess and synchronic natural time cosmic action transcends power endures essence presence today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend all those old warrior battles as the old paradigm and its trappings dissolve into the cosmic mists we can transform them through pure presence translating into pure bliss we have arrived add some i am here this is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms in arriving at cosmic consciousness. Today we can be still and connect to the essence of our greatest light, the frequency of pure internal presence. Rainbow warriors have returned home. A new paradigm has commenced. Embrace it. Alleluia! So, beloveds, a very powerful divine day to fearlessly step up and radiate even greater light through your pure presence. Go forth and radiate. Today's question is, how can I transcend the battles of the past and fearlessly illuminate my true, fully awakened light through pure presence? Finally, let's go cosmic, the transcendent dynamic that runs the whole show. The all-encompassing everything that is the Cosmic Thirteen perfectly transcends taking magic flight and returning to the One, magnetic tone equal One, once again. And so we bid adieu to Khan, the bountiful Yellow Seed, who enabled us to overcome all obstacles in the darkness and grow tall and strong, seeding the awakening masses to rise up. 
now much wiser, embodying more light, now that we have cracked open our seed pods and rediscovered our greatest potential stored within us, we are ready to set forth on our new adventure. Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell, founded on right timing, packed with synchronicity and flow. We are guided by Kaban, Red Earth, our trusty companion, and so our journey through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for our cosmic transcendence into our highest embodiment of light, stepping away from the battle and into the light of source. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 156, Yellow Cosmic Warrior. The mantra, the code for today is I endure in order to question. Transcending fearlessness. I seal the output of intelligence. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of universal fire. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of Delight, Leslie Garon, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your support. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of Delight, Maria Richards, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Farah Miller, for another super thanks donation on YouTube today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, Zodiac Goddesses Healing Jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful, sacred prayer for the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. Divine source of love and light, on the sacred night of the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, we come before you with hearts open wide, ready to co-create a new heaven upon the new earth. As the moon casts its ethereal glow upon the land, we invoke the power of balance and harmony, to guide us on this journey of transformation and awaken the divine within us all. May the energies of Libra, the sign of balance and justice, inspire us to seek harmony in all aspects of our lives and to honor the sacredness of every soul as we move forward on the path of evolution. With each breath we take, with each prayer we utter, may we manifest the highest vision of the new heaven upon the new earth, a world where love reigns supreme, where peace prevails, and where all beings live in harmony and unity. On this sacred night, as the moon reaches its fullest expression, we offer our prayers and intentions to the universe, knowing that we are co-creators of our own destiny, and that together we can manifest miracles beyond our wildest dreams. May the light of the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra Illuminate our path with clarity and wisdom, and may the blessings of the divine guide us, as we usher in a new era of love, compassion, and abundance. In the name of the divine, the sacred, the eternal, so mote it be. Amen. 
from egolovecondor.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. 144. Blazing in. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.